What if your business could answer any calls coming in in any language 24 seven without really needing a sales rep? Today, I'll show you how to build a multilingual voice agent through Retail AI. It speaks English, German, Spanish, Italian. These are the languages that our clients requested the most all in one call. I'm the founder of Sonar AI, where we build powerful voice automations for growing businesses. And if you're thinking, I want one of those, then please check out the free consultation link in the description below. Let's dive in. Okay, so to actually activate the multilingual agent, what we need to do is first of all, make sure that we are in one of the multilingual voice models. If you select the default um, models, take one of the default models um, of retail, it's already in a multi multilingual one. So if you are in one of the English, uh, I mean, <laughs> because I'm already multilingual, but if you, sorry. If you're in one of the English ones, make sure to just select one of the um, multilingual voice models. Cool, with that clear, then you go select multilingual and multilingual means that it speaks an array of languages. These that are displayed here. So, and it means that it can pretty much combine English with any of these languages and also any of the, uh, the, the languages that are displayed there with any of the other languages, uh, yeah, any other language pretty much. Super prompt. Now, if you have your English prompt, um, then you pretty much don't need to translate it into another language. But what you need to do is to inform the agent that it should speak the languages that you want in the prompt. So for example, if I now go and talk to the agent, it will if I ask it, do you speak Italian? It would tell me, no, I don't. I only speak English um, primarily. So actually we can try that now. Hello, how can I help you today, Mo? Hey, uh, do you speak Italian? Ciao. Posso capire e parlare un po' di italiano, ma la mia competenza principale è in inglese. Se preferisci, possiamo provare a comunicare in italiano. Dimmi, come posso aiutarti oggi? Okay, that was... Impressive, actually, because uh, usually it would say that it doesn't speak Italian, uh, but it can. So, okay, actually, what it said in Italian is that she does not speak that much Italian, but she generally says in English, uh, but she can kind of try. I think if we want to change that, um, what we would need to do is pretty much tell it, please assist users in English and Italian. And by the way, I'm using a tool called Whisperflow to dictate anything that, uh, yeah, I want to write, which is super handy. I'm not installed yet, by the way, but something that I've been using in the past days and it's super cool. Just makes everything super quick. Um, yeah. Okay, so please assist users in English and Italian. So now the agent knows that it can speak these languages. So if we try to talk to it now, I think it won't have a problem. So it's right. Hello, how can I help you today, Mo? Hey, do you speak Italian? Hello. Yes, I speak Italian. How can I assist you today? Ciao. Si, parlo italiano. Come posso aiutarti oggi? Ottimo. Uh, volevo solamente testarti. Volevo capire se, fun, uh, se parli italiano. Cool. Yeah. All right. So it does speak um, Italian in this case. Now, a few things to note just quickly is when you're building these agents, you need to be careful um, that you cover some language differences when it comes from English to your language and make a, uh, this example, it's Italian. For example, in a language like Italian, you wouldn't say 3 p.m. or 4 p.m. or a.m. You just say perhaps 15 or 3 in the afternoon. So you need to kind of prompt these things into your um agent and um another thing is sometimes uh, i mean of course the agent might have an american accent so that is um kind of expected if you are going to work with a multilingual model if you want an agent that only speaks let's say a perfect um the appropriate accent you would need to then use um the yeah i mean in this case italian so only the agent that speaks um, Italian. 
yeah, with that said, uh, that was a quick and short intro into the multilingual version of Retail. It's a pretty cool feature. Um, I think it might work really well in the US given that there is a lot of English and Spanish being spoken. I think that was a feature that was present before. But now we can bake it and put it in different um, languages as well. So pretty cool stuff. Okay, so if you need any help when it comes to saying these agents, um, especially in a language, let's say, that has that has particular um, things that need to be adjusted, I'm happy to help. I do offer free consultations down in the description. And if you want to work with us, I also leave a link for checking out um, our website and potentially book a call with us. All right. And if you want for any questions, of course, feel free to leave in the comments below. Cool. With that said, thank you so much and see you in the next one.